Welcome back everybody. It is time for another Glios toy review and today I am feeling a little bit blue because that's what we're going for today. A little bit of a color scheme with two different Glios figures from two separate Glios companies and we're going to check them both out today. We've got a brand new blue colored Mangalord from Toyfinity. This was their PowerCon exclusive color nice. scheme and they had extra so they threw them up on the store so I was able to get my hands on one of those. And then we have something I've actually been looking forward to for quite some time which is a translucent awesome looking figure from Toy Pizza in the cow's armor. It's the sea cow's armor so it's going to be in that blue coloring too so I thought you know what it makes sense to put them both in the same video. We could compare some blues and appreciate some new Glios. And if you enjoy appreciating Glios like I do and you want to see more of these Glios reviews make sure to hit subscribe leave a like on the video it helps me out a lot. Let's go ahead and open up these packages. Let's get to it with some Mangalords here. We've got the Toyfinity Classic Box package here, and we're going to get out this nice PowerCon exclusive Mangalore first, because I'm very excited to check them out. Only one thing in this package. I know, it's a bummer. I didn't end up getting any of the mortals this time around. There also was a little parts, extra parts, the Kashyyyk or whatever you want to call them. I forget how you pronounce that, but they had the extra little limbs and things you could get the limb pack. I just went for the classic Mangalore. It's good enough for me right now. Well, let's open them up. Let's check them out. I forget this guy's name, but I'll pop it up on screen here in a second. I love the look of this blue. It's actually got more of a purple hue than I was expecting. Which way does this go on? Does it go like this? There we go. Let's get his little cowl on and we'll check out the figure. Take a look at that knife. Nice, nice Mangalord. I love the red contrasting eyes on this guy. Looks really, really nice. And again, it's hard to see on camera. I know on camera it's going to look a lot more blue, but this kind of darker blue is more of like a bluish purple hue, which it looks really nice. It looks really clean, like a grayish bluish purple. Really, really sick. That's going to be hard to pick up on camera. Everything gets a little bit more saturated and stuff, but... This is really nice looking. Now we got to take a look at the calves. Of course, we got that nice darker blue on there. Very, very clean. Never really noticed that kind of like spiny detail on there. That's pretty crazy looking. How have I never noticed that before? Oh man, I love these Mangalore guys. They're so sick looking. Absolutely awesome. Glad to have them. Haven't missed a Mangalore drop yet. Very proud of that. Have all of them thus far from the O'Neill drops from the Toyfinity and I am digging it. How many is this now? Like six or seven or eight or something like that? Get a little bit of a closer view on that nice looking face and those red eyes. Very, very good. And then we can do a little flippy flu here. We've got that dark, dark flip side head. Barely can see the eyes on that one, but there it is. You can kind of tell he looks pretty sick as well, but I think it's just a little too dark for me. So this, this face works a little bit better on this one. Uh, just because of that light purple and then like the helmet on top makes it contrast a little bit nicer to me. Either way, looks sick, looks pretty dope. I think this guy could look good on a little bit of a, a lighter, a lighter body or something, or maybe a flip flop, one of the cowls or something like that. Who do we got here? Who do we got? We've got a headless guy that I've sitting over here. Why is he headless? Oh, I stole some parts from him. That's why. Hey, ooh, ooh, that looks kind of clean looks kind of nice. I dig it. I dig it. I don't think we appreciate underneath the cowl enough either. This kind of like nice little chest, all the detail that goes in on this chest and like collarbone and stuff looks really, really sick. I'm going to just flip that around a little bit more so you can see it. That looks really, really nice. And it always gets covered up by the little cowl thing you got going. So take the time to appreciate the detail that gets hidden half the time. And what do we got here? What are the ones right by me? We got a headless guy. We got a guy with a mighty maniac's head on him, which looks pretty dope. And we've got the regular version of that guy. What else do we got right by me? We've got the OG original classic Mangalore. Yeah, yeah. We've got one. I think this is from the O'Neill drop. Was this the O'Neill drop one? I forget. I guess I can grab him. He's up on my shelf here above, but we also got this. This BA looking mother fricker, he looks absolutely dope. This is a phenomenal one, especially with those extra limb parts, just so you can kind of see how those limb parts look on the Mangalore figure if you've never seen them like that before. And we almost forgot about the limb that this one comes with, but there it is. It looks very, very sick. I always switch out the arm for this crazy looking claw because it just looks so, so cool on the figures themselves. But there you go. 
we'll line them up next to the other so you can kind of get a nice look at the whole squad i mean come on right that just looks sick having all these guys together like that squared up on the camera a little bit it looks goofy this guy's missing the head still but you get the picture i have the other two floating around but they're on shelves out of reach and i want to just keep recording and looking at this guy so this is stellar i'm loving it glad i was able to get one of the power con ones i was hoping they didn't sell out or anything and they must have made plenty i'm pretty sure they're still on the store i'll confirm that in a text here or something if they sold out or not but if they haven't sold out go 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 get yourself one of these bad boys because this is a really nice looking color scheme and it just matches too perfectly with the toy pizza thing we got coming up so let's get into that Mangalord, you can stay out but you're gonna have some company i stole one of the Mangalord arms and head to put on my other cow's armor from the last drop the mars troopers now we got a mars Mangalord trooper which looks pretty freaking sick with this combo and we got our classic one from onel here you got to bring them all out really before we go look at the new one obviously i'm a little bit more limited on the cow's armor than i am the Mangalord guys these are the only two i have right now the cow's armor and then the third one which i just got in is going to be a beautiful addition to these guys. Let's go ahead and tear into the package. Now you guys know I'm a big fan of the, I'll put it up on screen here, the nice orange cow's armor that they did a while ago. Really, really love the look of that guy. So when this guy came out, I just was stoked. What is this? What do we got here? Granite Enforcer. Oh, this is one of their cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have one of the they have like a card game going on now, toy pizza and stuff. I'd seen this before, so a little freebie in there. Oh, multiple freebies. Oh, there's another one. Okay, Granite Jaw Enforcer 51 in India. Yeah. Okay, Charisma. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure. Strength, Intelligence, Charisma, Dexterity. Oh, this is like a Dungeons and Dragons thing. I guess I didn't realize that. I like the artwork though. That's really cool. What do we got? Another one in here too? Oh, we do. Okay, and it's like a little, like maybe one of the creator's kids drew this one. Dude 2, I guess is his name. That's kind of funny the little easter egg something like that from the kids that's kind of cool oh my gosh how many cards did they stuff in here so many cards geez oh pizza okay want more toys jesse okay so he added so he must have helped on this project or something hob the frog creature that is some weird looking i don't even know it almost looks ai generated kermit the frog adventurer but it is a foil card pretty sick foil they did a good job with the foils on this well again i'm not sure what he did or what this is about per se but hey little quick shout out for him here go check out the page if you're curious about it okay can we can we get the cow's armor out here let's get it out come on let's take a look at this oh my gosh it's so cool wow 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 that is just amazing the sea cow's armor is fire it's got this nice like marini white and yellow highlights as you can kind of see already we're gonna get it out of the packaging first just admire the packaging though oh he's already glistening in the lighting oh it's so cool yeah i'm i'm stoked for this one this one just looks amazing i love me some translucent since she's whatever i don't know translucency stuff can't say the words oh interesting okay okay hold on let's just go into we'll go into pieces first but there we go we've got the little laser gun blaster cannon arm looking pretty sick we have one of the heads the more gundam-esque head it's got that nice white on it and no yellow on this one which i think i might prefer on this one actually and then we got our little base you know human humanoid head dude thing pretty simple white eyes it looks like pretty uh pretty low on the eyes it seems like it's not like gone over a bunch so that white could use a little extra pop i think and then we've got the figure itself looking amazing now the first key detail that i kind of noticed with this guy was they used like the switch pins and the connecting points are all this nice bright white which you can kind of like see through the armor into the sockets and it's that what oh there it goes all right popped it off but you can see it's that white switch pin type thing and you can kind of see that white coming through the actual armor which is really neat really cool let's get that arm back on there there we go gotta be gentle oh these are not wanting to move goodness me it's already warm up here but i guess these need to warm up a little bit more yeah they are struggling to move here a little bit all right the arms seem to move fine that's good looking sick looking cool bang look at that man that is really really sick the blue lighting coming in on the background here looks amazing right now that is just in 
incredible. You can see it right here on the joints of the hips and the legs, that white coming through as well. Pretty sick. Nice closer look at the figure and the head detail. Now the head detail has this really nice yellow on it. It's a nice yellow. I like it on the chest piece. I don't know how I feel about it on the head, honestly. I've gone back and forth on if I like the yellow on the helmet or not. I'm sure some people will. This is just a preference thing, but I almost feel like the other helmet is going to look a little bit cooler with just that white. And I think I'm right, man. That looks really nice with just that white helmet base on it. Really, really cool. I prefer uh, the other helmet that we just had on it. I prefer the look, but I like the, just the plain white with the one highlight of yellow on the chest piece. Looks really nice. Again, the bendability on these guys. Oh, just so, so cool. So nice. You can get some really nice underwater posy things going on with this. I've already seen some people going ham with the poses and the nice creative toy photography, which if you guys like toy photography at all, that is a secondary hobby of mine. Lockdown51 on Instagram. Go follow me there. Check out some of the photos I'll be posting of this guy in the upcoming weeks. Definitely going to be posting a lot of him because I love it. Love to light these guys up too, which I did see a photo recently. Shout out to this guy. He took a really sick photo of him and then he flipped it with some different colors lighting and it really sucked in that color like crazy. Obviously some, some editing going on there, but I want to test it out a little bit myself. In order to do that, we need to shut the lights off and we need to get a little bit of a UV glow here on him. You can kind of just see how nice he glows even with the UV light. And you can imagine you shine any type of light on this guy and it's gonna look pretty sick. I can't wait to test that out more uh, with taking other pictures that I'll probably end up posting and stuff. Oh, well, what are these guys doing? They're falling down. All right, my toys can't take it. They can't take the heat of uh, being in darkness. So I guess we got to leave the light on here. Really, really cool figure though. Absolutely, incredibly impressed with the look of this guy. Absolutely dope. Again, I missed out on that orange cow's armor, but I am certainly glad to have gotten the sea cow's armor. This is incredible. I always try to get the cannon on him too, because I really like the cannon arm. Pull off his little hand here and Stick on an arm. There we go. Looking extra dope with the cannon hand. Really, really cool. We'll just get him posed up a little bit here so he can look extra fire combined with the other crazy looking, you know, cow's armors and the Mangalore sitting in the background looking dope too. But that just looks freaking awesome, especially next to these guys. Looks really sick. You guys already know quite a bit about the posability of these guys. I've done two other reviews of the cow's armor. If you haven't seen those, go check them out as well. You can check out like the Glios playlist and stuff. I've been going over these guys ever since I was able to get my hands on them with the O'Neill drop and absolutely digging them, loving them. And this guy's no exception. Looks really sick. And I'm kind of glad that I like this helmet over the other one this time around because I could use with a little bit of a different approach with these guys. I always am using the same headpiece, it feels like, and these never get any love. So I'm going to give show this one some love this time because I think it works really nicely. We'll get the blue on blue calf comparison here between the cow's armor and the nice little Mangalord. There you go. Pick your poison. They're both sick as hell. All right, you two can get out of here for a minute. There we go. The feeling blue Glios review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these dudes and taking a look at them. Once again, Toy Pizza. Go check out their site. I believe they still have some of the Sea Cow's armor as well. And then, of course, Toyfinity right here. Go get yourself a Mangalore as well. I believe, again, both of these are in stock, so go grab them while they are available. The Cow's armor will definitely sell out sooner rather than later. So definitely get on this one. You don't want to miss it. It looks absolutely incredible, and I'm loving the look of the Mangalore. They keep crushing it over at Toyfinity. And they need to bring back some translucency too. That would be my request from them would be, you know, we got some translucent Mangalords from the O'Neill drop with that nice little orange one, but we need to see it again from Toyfinity. Give us a nice little Sea Cow's Armor Mangalore. That'd be sick too. But you did a great job with the blue. Not, not, not disappointed at all with this guy. That's going to do it for this video. I appreciate it if you stayed all the way to the end. Again, one more time, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below what you guys thought of the new drops from Toyfinity and Toy Pizza. Stay tuned for more Glios reviews and I'm also planning on doing more of the Glios build series too coming up in the future here. So you're not going to want to miss those. Have a great rest of your week and we will catch you guys in the next video.